Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a spiral and scrunch shirt and I'm going to ice dye it. As usual, I washed and dried the shirt, then I soaked it in a soda ash solution for at least 20 to 30 minutes. I wrung it out of my panda spin dryer so it's just barely damp. I've also turned the shirt inside out. I'm finding an area just a little bit below the armpit of the shirt where I'd like to begin the spiral and I'm starting the spiral with a fork. As I turn the fork one direction, I use my other hand to form additional folds in the shirt. I'm not gonna spiral the entire shirt. The outside portion of the shirt, I'm gonna go ahead and scrunch that area. So I'm gonna keep the fork inside of the spiral and use my hand to scrunch the other area. That fork will kinda help keep my spiral shape from unraveling. This time I'm gonna use some kite string to hold the folds in place. You can use rubber bands if you want. I'm going to ice dye this shirt a variety of green colors. So I've placed the shirt inside of a plastic tote or tub on top of a small rack. And I'm going to make myself an ice barrier out of some silicone cake molds. I attach the silicone cake molds to each other and then I wrap them around the shirt and I hold them in place with some wooden clothes pins. I'll leave a link down below this video in the description for where I purchased the silicone cake molds. There are also links for quite a few of my other products that I use when I tie dye down below in the description, as well as all the colors that I've used on this shirt. I'm using a washable marker and drawing a line around the area to define the spiral portion. Then I'm gonna use the washable marker and divide the area into three sections. I want to make each one of the sections go into the center spiral. That way, all of the different colors are going to originate from that center spiral. On all the lines that I just drew, I'm using dark green from Pro Chemical and Dye. I'm also going to add this dark green to that outer circle that I drew. In the top section, I'm adding Kelly Green from Dharma Trading Company. Mm -hmm. 
In the next section, I'm adding new emerald green from Dharma Trading Company. I personally like to put a fairly liberal amount of dye on my shirt. With most designs like this, I prefer not to have to turn the shirt over and add more dye to the back side. So I found if I add plenty of dye to the front, I can add another layer of ice if I need to force more dye down through the shirt. I probably could get by with adding a little bit less though. In the last section, I'm adding bright green from Custom Colors. In the scrunched portion, I'm going to randomly apply some new emerald green. I'm adding a little bit of Kelly green too. And I'm going to add some of the bright green. I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of soda ash over the top. Then I'm going to add a layer of ice. I came back after the first layer of ice melted. And there was a little bit of undissolved dye left sitting on top of the shirt, so I added a second layer of ice. After the second layer of ice melted, I checked the back side to make sure that the dye had gone all the way through to the back, and it had, so I just allowed the shirt to continue to process for at least 24 hours. To rinse the dye out, I took the shirt to my utility sink and began rinsing in cold water. I do the cold water rinse to rinse out any of the additional soda ash that's left in the shirt. After rinsing in cold for a while, I gradually warm the water up to hot and continue rinsing to rinse out any of the dye that didn't react with the shirt. I rinse until my water is almost clear. Once the water is almost clear, I go ahead and throw it in the washing machine and I wash it using hot water and a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent. After it's been washed and dried, this is what the shirt looks like. I like the shirt. What do you guys think? I like all of the green colors. Since greens are a mixed color, they can either be more yellow green or more blue green. And so I tried to choose greens that blended well together. I also like that all the greens give lots of cool color splits. I'm glad that I used the dark green in the shirt. That kind of separates and gives some definition to the shirt. Otherwise, I think that the greens would have blended together too well and there wouldn't have been any definition in the spiral. If I did this shirt again, I would probably use a different color in the scrunched portion. I don't think that you can tell that there is a scrunch around the edge and a spiral in the middle. It just kind of looks like another section of the spiral. So to define that a little bit better, if I made this shirt again, I would probably use a different color in the scrunch area. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the shirt. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.